GNS3 is a very popular tool to simulate your network and devices. GNS3 is helping network engineers, software developers, researchers, students to experiment, test, validate and predict the success of their projects in very cost-effective and risk-free fashion. GNS3 gives you the freedom to design network in real time without the need of expensive network equipments, lab spaces and high electricity expenditures. And of course, you need not to share and schedule your network and devices with your colleagues. Well, you can do if you want to. Because network designed in GNS3 can speak to your real physical network as well. The best part is, this is free. Hello, my name is Kamal Bhatt and I am working as a software product manager at Stodis. Today I am going to speak about setting up a GNS3 topology with virtual switches running Broadcom's Enterprise Sonic and its integration with Monsoon. If you are not familiar with Monsoon, I will highly recommend watching the video with the link appearing on the screen or in the video description, which is about Monsoon installation and its configurations in detail. Also, to know more on Broadcom's Enterprise Sonic, click on the link in the description. GNS3 can be installed either as a server on the top of an operating system or as a virtual machine on some specific hypervisors. I will highly recommend installing GNS3 on some high-end server instead of a normal day-to-day -day working laptop, especially when we are going to create Sonic-like devices in GNS3 which are a complete operating system in themselves. For example, I have my GNS3 virtual machine installed on VMware ESXi. And ESXi is running on a server, which is Dell R740 with Intel Xeon Gold 6140 CPU. Details of GNS3 VM installation are out of the scope of this video. Let us begin with our virtual switch creation. GNS3 comes with inbuilt support for a number of devices, but not Sonic. Well, not yet. But no worries, GNS3 allows you to import a device of your choice as well. Let us see the procedure to create a GNS3 appliance from a Broadcom Enterprise Sonic image and import into GNS3 as a virtual Sonic switch. Sonic community provides an easy script to create a GNS3 appliance file out of a Sonic image which you can find on the Sonic GitHub community project. On this readme file, it is explained how to execute the script. To download the shell script, go to the directory a level above. Here you will find the script sonic-gns3a.sh. I am opening this file in a new tab. To download the script, right click on the button named raw and click on download link file as. Once downloaded, you can execute the file using the command given in readme page we just saw. For better manageability while creating GNS3 appliance, you can change the hyphen R option in the command to match your Broadcom Enterprise Sonic image version. For example, I have provided 4.0.1 to hyphen R option here because I am using 4.0.1 version of Broadcom Enterprise Sonic. A few seconds after execution of the script, GNS3 appliance file should be created in the current working directory. The file with the extension GNS3A is the one. And the letter A here stands for appliance. Please note if you are executing the script on macOS, you may encounter an error saying illegal option hyphen C. This is because of the stat command being used in the script which has different options for Mac and Linux. To overcome the error on macOS, just replace hyphen C option from original script as shown in the diff on the screen. Now, let's import GNS3 appliance file we just created into GNS3 server. Under browse all devices section, click on new template. Select import an appliance file. This option as it says, will allow us to import GNS3 appliance file with GNS3 extension, which we have already created. Just select the appliance file, open and install on GNS3 server. 
leave the default binaries of emulator to be used and proceed. That's it. You will find your Broadcom Sonic appliance imported in the device list. Now it's time to create a topology with Sonic appliance we just imported. But before we proceed, I would highly recommend increasing the resources allocated to Sonic appliance based on your GNS3 host hardware configuration. For example, I had a smooth and constant performance experience while interacting with Sonic switches with 4 GB of RAM and with 4 virtual CPUs allocated to it. But this can differ for others. Without digging deep on performance tweaking, if you think coffee breaks are possible while doing the basic things in Sonic Switch like system boot, CLI command responses, accessing console etc. You can consider increasing the Sonic appliance resources. To start with creating topology, first let us create a project with the name of your choice. And then drag and drop Sonic appliance icon into project area. To create a simple leaf spine topology connection, just click on Ethernet cable icon on the left menu bar and then directly click on the switch. You will get a list of available ports on the switch. Red LED icon with the port means port is not connected yet. I am here connecting spines Ethernet port 0 to first leaf's Ethernet port 0 and spines Ethernet port 1 to second leaves Ethernet port 0. Next, we will be adding cloud node, which is inbuilt in GNS3 and will be connecting eth0 port, which actually is management interface of GNS3 server to management port of all Sonic switches via a hub. I am using a cloud node here so that Sonic virtual switches in the topology can reach and also reachable from the devices in my real network. Please note there is one more inbuilt node called NAT in GNS3. If you use NAT, your topology will be able to access internet and your local network but will not be accessible directly from the internet or local LAN. Using cloud node here allows us both way connectivity. You can click on show hide network labels button to view the labels of network interfaces we just connected. All devices can be booted at once by clicking the start all nodes button. Right click on each Sonic node and launch console. Here you see the boot logs of Enterprise Sonic. If you keep on seeing messages like zero touch provisioning in progress continuously, you can disable ZTP by the command on the screen, sudo ZTP disable hyphen Y. While typing this command, you might mingle with console messages of Sonic, but you can continue typing the command. Just make sure to type the correct command and hit enter. As we configured our GNS3 network to access the real network via cloud node, our switches should be able to receive IP addresses from DSCP server which is already present in the local network. We connected management interface H0 of each Sonic switch to the hub. So each switch has got a management IP, which you can check with the command show IP interfaces on each switch. For better understanding, you can also rename devices in GNS3. For example, I'm renaming them with their roles and their management IP here. Now let us set up Monsoon or to be specific, Sonic exporter on Sonic devices we just created in GNS3. Docker command to install Sonic exporter is available on GitHub repository page of Monsoon project. GitHub repository link is in the description. Just copy the command on the switch console and hit enter. And installation should begin. Installation of Sonic exporter is same for a virtual switch as well as a hardware. Next, we will configure Prometheus for pulling metrics from the virtual Sonic switches. The complete installation of Prometheus and Grafana is explained in the video for Monsoon installation in detail. Link is in the description. 
Let's add the Sonic devices in Prometheus that we can do by editing Prometheus.yaml configuration file. Just add the management IP of Sonic switch with the Sonic exporter port, which is 9101 by default. If you check the Prometheus web portal and look at configuration, Prometheus is still showing the old devices from one of my other projects, which means configuration of Prometheus has not been reloaded yet. Actually, there are procedures defined by Prometheus to reload configuration at runtime. One is by sending a signal hangup, another is via REST. But here, for demonstration purpose, we will just restart Prometheus Docker container and verify that the configuration is reloaded. Also check that Sonic Exporter is up on all three Sonic switches we installed in GNS3. Now let's open the Grafana web portal where Prometheus instance we just updated is already configured as a data source. As you can see Grafana is showing more switches than we configured in GNS3. This is because previously Prometheus was configured to pull data from other switches from other project. And we have configured Prometheus with new Sonic switches for this project only a few minutes ago. So what Grafana is showing is a stale data from Prometheus. Just reduce the data duration in Grafana to 5 minutes and refresh the web page. Now Grafana shows the data only for the switches we configured in Prometheus a few minutes ago. And you can see the data coming from all the three virtual switches from GNS3 topology. Please note, when using virtual switches, you won't be able to see some metrics, like metrics for platform. For example, fans and sensors readings, PSUs and transceivers information, etc. The GNS3 setup we just created lets us test the Broadcom's Enterprise Sony configurations and monsoon features in real time without the need of lab visits or any hardware. Also here we are completely flexible with the type and the size of the topology right from our desk. We can scale the topology to any number of devices depending upon our GNS3 server hardware resources. Scaling can be helpful. For example, while doing performance benchmarking of the softwares like Monsoon. Hope you find the video informative. All the useful links I just mentioned in the video can be found in the description. Let us know if you have any question or feedback in the comment section below. For any inquiry regarding Enterprise Sonic, reach us at support at the rate